So hackathons are about bringing different people together from who have different expertise to work on a problem in a really accelerated and intense way over the next two days. Engage and empower our healthcare scientists workforce, of which there's 50,000 across the NHS, scientists and engineers working in all different types of specialties, but they're very creative, innovative thinkers. I think it's a really great opportunity to use those different sets of skills and different perspectives to bring something fresh and new to this area and to really think about a different way of solving these problems. We know that the solutions can't be that easy because they're often long standing, but by working together we think we're going to get a better product. We've been in touch with people from academia, so we're hoping we've got some coders here, some computer scientists, some designers, and we're really going to create that space where we can get together and start creating and developing. And I like the idea of a hackathon because it sounded as though you could get to problems quicker and resolve things quicker. I'm looking for good models of communication in care homes that could apply to hearing that I could therefore use in my fellowship to make some sort of an improvement. At the moment, they're all in teams, they're all hacking. They're looking at um, their problems and uh, trying to think creatively about different ways of doing things. And without further ado, let's get started. So, Digital Divas, if you could please make your way up here. The problem that exists is how can I, as a person with a cognitive impairment, meaningfully contribute to my plan of care, my life plan? How is this actually going to enable her to have as full a life and purposeful a life as possible? And the winner of our hackathon, Care Home Hackathon, is... I never dreamed that it would become something that was noticed, that was taken on, and that I could move with it, even help design it.